it's Betsy and today we're gonna go over my January 2021 review roundup now I went and tried a lot of products in January so I try to do this at the beginning of every month I didn't do this a bit at the beginning of January because December was just a crazy amount of products that I tried but to let you know what's good what's great what's okay what products I recommend because there's a lot um, typically it's mainly eyeshadow but there are some other products thrown in even if I don't do a dedicated video over things I do like to do this so one of the products I tried this month is the Noctex antiquity palette so it looks like this now this product performed beautifully it wore well throughout the day I really enjoyed this um, the mattes are great I wish the shimmers were a little bit more impactful I mean they're still pretty I mean you can see that they're pretty it's just I wish they were a little bit glitter glitterier I guess is the word because you know I mean look at my eye look today I love anything that has some sparkle to it but if you are looking for some good matte shades these are really pretty and I love the whole packaging concept so this was a great palette I really really enjoyed that okay Next up is the Gucci. This is the primer and the foundation. I enjoyed both of these. Now, let me say this. I have very normal skin. Um, I get Botox, so I don't have a lot of wrinkles in my forehead. So these performed really well on me. I have a friend, Aileen, who tried this, and she has oily skin. It was terrible on her. And uh, like Teresa's dead, she has dry skin, and it performed terribly on her. So these are very expensive to not be sure. So if you're gonna purchase this, I would look at purchasing it from Sephora. And honestly, I would try to get a sample of it beforehand. I really like the primer. I like the foundation. They're in gorgeous, heavy duty bottles. So that is a plus. They're nice, thick, frosted glass. But this product does not work for everybody. So I would definitely recommend testing it before purchasing it and not purchasing it from Gucci because their return policy is terrible. Okay, so another foundation I tried, this is the Chantecaille Future Skin Cushion in the shade Nude. And I have worn this quite a bit. I love this foundation. It is a good light coverage foundation. It is like your skin, but better. It blurs everything this foundation is expensive but for my preferences it is a I like I will repurchase this when I'm out of both cushions because it was so good I really really enjoyed this so I love this but it is a pricey pricey foundation and you have to see if it's worth it to you I have tried a lot of foundations and honestly this is probably one of my favorites I just I don't know what it is it looks beautiful on the skin it's a great shade match everything about this foundation I love so that is a definite then I also tried, this is the Tribe Palette by Juvia's Place. This isn't always available, but I really like the green color story to this. This is beautiful. This shade Coral right here makes a beautiful, beautiful highlight. And Juvia's Place is pretty inexpensive. So I like pretty much most things that I've tried from Juvia's Place. Okay. Then we have, this is my Davina Singles. So this is the Aurora Flares and these are the Star something. I prefer the Aurora Flares to the Star, they're Star Chasers. The Aurora Flares are, look at this, gorgeous. Like, I mean, it just doesn't get much better than that. They feel super duper silky. They swatch beautifully, and you can definitely see that shift. Come on now. Um, the Star Tracers are a little bit crumblier. Like, they're still pretty, but I would definitely recommend the Aurora Flares over the Star Chasers. And if you're wanting something that has more of like an iridescent kind of look to it, 
Um, I would recommend the Cleona glittery ones over the Davina Star Chasers, but honestly, their Aurora flares are phenomenal. Some of the best swatching multi-chromes I have tried, but I just prefer that formula. Um, the Star Chasers are still pretty, it's just they're not my absolute favorite. I actually have more of the Aurora flares coming in because they are so good. So, so good. Okie dokie. So next up, this is, and I'm just reaching into the box. These are no particular order. This is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude in the shade 36 NP Amorosa. So as you can see, I've actually used that quite a bit. It is a beautiful light pinky nude. It's a beautiful color. Um, Natasha's formula is expensive. I do like you see it's got a nice strong magnet to it they have a great formula but i honestly feel like um like i have a lot of the color pop lippies that the color pops are just as good do you need to spend 25 dollars on it no but i do like the formula and it's a beautiful color but it can easily be duped now, something from Natasha that I don't feel like can easily be duped, and this is the Love Cheek Duo. I love the cream blush that's in here. It is gorgeous. It's pigmented, but if you don't like a pink blush, you may not like that. But the highlighter that's in here is a champagne and pink duo chrome. And this is the same formula as the I Need a Nude Glow. So as you can see, it shifts very beautifully. This is the winner out of the mini nude collection for me. I love this. I am happy this is in my collection. If they release more of these duos that have like the cream and this kind of highlight, they will be mine. I love everything about it. It is absolutely amazing. So, okay, next up, this is the Nomad land of fire and ice this is their iceland palette this thing is gorgeous i don't know how to say it but it is gorgeous the shade elves in here is one of my favorites it's such a unique like green gold i don't know what it is the shimmers are extremely smooth the mattes perform beautifully gallows lava is another shade that is like it's like an army green and you can see they have that really pretty like they have that little bit of glitter that little bit of bling that definitely makes me happy my series trying to listen to me but this is I, I love this palette i love everything about it and it definitely makes me intrigued to try more from nomad and i think the color story is extremely unique too um and god's waterfall look at that so pretty I love this palette. I love this palette. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Siri's telling me I'm sorry. But yeah, no. So this is really, really good. Okie dokie. Then we have, this is the Melt Blueprint palette. So as far as I know, because I don't own the stack, this is identical to the stack. This is a beautiful blue and tan color story. If you own the stack, you really don't need the palette but this is really good melt quality and it's up to you if you like blues and browns together i like this palette i think the quality is amazing i'm happy i have it in my collection but if i were going to choose one that has more blues in it i would choose the nomad over the melt one honestly okay next up this is the Ditto Venus palette. Okay, so I bought this because of these beautiful pans. This palette performed amazing. I love their pressed glitter shimmer formula. I'm not exactly sure what it is. And honestly, I loved using this palette so much in this glitter shimmer formula. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but they have a galaxy palette that is more colorful that I went and purchased because this I loved so much. 
Now, if you're into more basic browns, this is definitely something you could try out. I mean, and the formulas in here are really, really, really unique. Um, and the pans are gorgeous. But like, this is a beautiful brown palette. Like, I mean, there's nothing about that that I don't like. And I enjoyed it so much, I ordered another older palette. Okay, Rebel Rouge Labs Prelude to Agony. That's what this looks like. This is such, this is their Valentine's palette. So if you look, this palette is super unique. The color story is really cool. I love this shimmery yellow because a good shimmery yellow is hard to find. The pinks performed beautifully, the grays, the reds, everything that's in here performed beautifully. And I have the Howling For You palette as well by them. And I purchased that at Halloween whenever I saw this and I was like, yes, you will be mine because I love their formula so much. This is an indie brand, this is an Etsy brand. So it is something unique, don't wanna drop it, but cool. And to me, it's like, it's kind of like the grunge, goth, rock and roll vibes. So I enjoy the whole thing, the whole vibe of the brand. Okay, next up, because I have two of these. This is the Made by Mitchell palette. So this is Head in the Clouds, which looks like this. Okay, she's a very pretty, pretty palette. So you can see with like the shimmers. Okay, I'm gonna show you this shimmer next to the other one. Okay, so the bottom one right here is the made by mitchell this is the prelude to agony okay so this is a good blue kind of yellow color story but honestly these shimmers that were in this palette cracked and creased so so bad on me and yes i do get some creasing a lot of times because i have hooded eyelids and my eyes are not young like they were used to but yeah, this cracked and creased so bad. Now the colors are gorgeous, but Head in the Clouds was not my favorite out of these two, honestly. And I didn't like how bad the shadows creased on me. But, try I got hair in my, the feet on the ground, where I think Mitchell's brand stands out the most is definitely, definitely, I've got, can you see that I've got hair in my eye? Is the mattes. The mattes are phenomenal. The feet on the ground is really pretty. This is much more my color scheme. It's just the shimmers were a creasy mess on me personally, but they are really pretty. Really, really pretty. Look at that. But the mattes are the saving grace and feet on the ground is definitely much more of my color story i was able to purchase these at 40 percent off for black friday so that was a little bit better deal for me but yeah their mattes are really good the shimmers not my favorite formula okay next up this is the bh cosmetics lunar new year palette i just reviewed this one the reds in here are phenomenal I love BH's pressed glitter formula. I really enjoyed this palette and it's super inexpensive. I mean, this was $21. So if you're looking for a red palette, I would look into getting this one. It's, as I said, $21 is definitely not a bad price for a palette. Okay. Then we have the Natasha Denona mini love palette now this doesn't have really any dupes for the big love other than the purple but this shimmer right here it's like a mauve gold duochrome is super duper pretty see how it kind of shifts from orange to mauve to gold i really like this and if you're intrigued to try natasha's formula or you don't want a big palette this is a great way to try her formula without dropping you know $50 for a bigger size of like the five pans or even 65 for the midi or $129 for the big. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for, but 
I really enjoyed the mini love and if you're not like someone like me who collects all the eyeshadow in the world then the mini love could get you by without having to buy the big love okay and next up we have the Pat McGrath Crimson Couture lip kit so oh I grabbed the wrong lip liner I grabbed living legend so the red lip liner is more of a red but I really like her lip liner formula we're just gonna have to go with this to show you um, because even though it's a like sharpenable pencil a lot of times when you're working with like a sharpenable pencil they're not super creamy and hers are now they are expensive they're very 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 pricey so it kind of depends on what you want to use but you can see they blend out so if you're using these underneath like a base for a gloss they work beautifully but i really liked the shade this is elson 3 that was part of that i need a <laughs> this is the crimson lip kit but that is a beautiful more orangey red it's part of her matte trance formula it is a full coverage lippy and if you like pat mcgrath they're really good and they run them on sale like i know my friend Kara from beauty and the frizz was able to get a whole bunch of her lippies for 12 bucks which is better than what i did because all the ones i own i paid full freaking price for okay next up this is the artist couture club daddy palette this is in collaboration with static john which is either desi or katie's husband it looks like this i really enjoyed the shimmers in here even though they're a little bit of a drier formula the mattes again they performed beautifully even though it is a drier formula that's where i feel like this is lacking a little bit like i the mattes in here i wish performed as well as the mitchell palette but the shimmers in here perform better than the mitchell palette i just wish they were a little bit more of the wet formula i guess is the way because they these especially for a new palette already feel extremely dry so i'm not sure if this will age well if that makes sense to you like you know how whenever you have a wet shimmer formula a lot of times it will age beautifully i'm not sure if that will if that makes sense then we have the color pop wine and only i mean let's face this this is a burgundy red wine colored palette you get it's like a one note kind of thing there are no pressed glitters in here this is color pops good formula i would say and it's 12 bucks I liked how it performed. I liked the color look that it looked on the eyes. Is it anything super special? No. But if you're looking for a wine palette, that might be the one for you. Okay, then we have the NARS Claudette, which this is the Saint Germain de Pres, which is the eyeshadow palette. There are six shades in here, if I can open it. The packaging on this is gorgeous looks like this it is a neutral palette and honestly so the shimmers are pretty but what we're going to do is we're going to compare it to one that has a lot of the same kind of color story so we've got the sticky sweet by give me glow so if you look there's is several shades that really kind of overlap in between these two now this has a, one more shimmer than this one has and this one has more of like a mauvey brown in the center but if i were going to choose one of the two it would be the give me glow because okay especially if you love a good shimmer look at this this is sweet cinnamon latte now look at that compared to the nars the NARS is pretty, but see how much more beautiful and impactful the Give Me Glow is? So if I were gonna choose more of that nude kind of palette, it would be the Give Me Glow, honestly. Okay, last, but certainly not least, this is the Glam Light Pie Palette. This came in their December foodie box, or their Christmas foodie box. Um, I love Glam Light's formula. And this is what I'm talking about for like a wet, sparkly kind of shimmer. 
Look at that. See how nice and reflective those are? And they just brought this palette back where you can buy it without everything else. Look at that. Beautiful reflection, it's nice and sparkly. The mattes are beautiful. There is a blush shade in here, see? So yeah, if I were gonna choose one, I would choose the Glam Light or the Sticky Sweet over the NARS. I mean, I just prefer their formula better. And here's the thing about it, and and this may not be everybody's opinion, but this is my opinion on a lot of makeup. Whenever it comes to most luxury brands, face products from them tend to be really good, like foundations, concealers, powders, those types of things. But when you're looking for the special stuff, like really pretty eyeshadows, really pretty highlights, a lot of the indie stuff is so much better. Um, now, I will say that does kind of take into turn, you know, like Natasha Denona. I love everything from her. Same thing with Pat McGrath. Um, but if I were going to choose like a lipstick formula, I do prefer Pat McGrath's formula to Natasha Denona's, but Pat McGrath is ridiculously expensive. And so it kind of just depends on what you want. Um, if you're looking for good, easy, simple eye looks, you know, NARS is a great palette. Um, but yeah, those are the types of things I prefer. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is typically Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but we have been inundated by so many products. I have been posting so much more, but I guess that's it. So we'll see y'all later. Bye.